a few videos back I dyed my hair black. Today, we're switching it up a little bit. <laughs> the black hair has gotta go. I'm sorry. It was a phase, it was a vibe, but I'm done with it. So you know, if I read the title, highlights go wrong, we already know why they went wrong. It's so difficult to, to get rid of the black. It will be red, it will be orange, it will be far away from blonde, but hey, I don't know what you want, so let's continue. So today we're gonna put highlights in my hair at home, but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna use to do my hair. So since my hair is black, I don't wanna risk trying to do foils myself because I don't want to have it come out awful and uneven and just like the worst. So I'm gonna use a cap. Now I got this box dye because I needed the cap. I'm not gonna use the dye. This was like the $6 one. So I bought the cheap one just because I needed the cap. So I have all my bleach stuff from when I was blonde. So I have my mixing bowl and my brush. I have bleaching powder. This is Wella powder lightener. We have gloves. I have all kinds of developers. So like I have a 10 volume developer. I have two 30s, which I am gonna use 30 today because my hair is so dark. And then I also have a 20 volume, which I will use for my toner, which I'm gonna use this T14 Wella toner. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm very happy that you don't use the box dye, but you can buy the caps separately. Anyway, it's bleach. That's a good thing. So you have 10 volumes, 20 volumes, and two times 30 volumes. Okay, I'm a big fan of the 20 volumes, bleaching with 20 volumes, but it's black. And I don't know if it's black box dye or just normal color. So if it's black box dye, woo, we are in for some ride. You're going to have to do it two times. And I hear you ask, how can I do highlights, cap highlights, Two times. Well, you can do that. You can rinse it off, leave the strings, you wash it gently, gently, and not with an, an aggressive shampoo, very gently, dry it, and then bleach it again. Then you don't have to pull the strings for a second time. It's very difficult to take the, se the same ones. If you want a color like a dark brown or medium brown in the middle, then it will be okay to do one time. I have a strange feeling that she doesn't want dark brown between the black. She wants a big change. I should try it with 20 volumes and do some slow bleaching. You kill more pigments if you do it very slowly than with 30 volumes. But I'm already happy that it's not 40 volumes. So if you've never seen a cap before, they give you these little, or this little stick. It has like a pointy end and then a, another pointy end. One of them I think is for like thicker hair, like to pull out thicker hair, and then one's for like pulling out little pieces. Here is the cap. And to get your highlights, you have to pull your hair through these little holes, which I'm going to pull my hair through all of them because I want a bunch of highlights because go big or go home, right? But I'm not a big fan of these cap highlights. An allergic reaction I have from back in the days. But I have seen some videos on, I think with Instagram, they are taking so much strings, a thousand strings, fine, fine, fine strings, all over, and then they bleach it. It's so fine and so much of strings that it's really, really, really beautiful. So you have like shadow roots and a whole head of blonde hair. It's really nice. I have to reconsider my allergic reaction to cap highlights. So it's gonna take me a little while. We're gonna get there. It is 357 right now. I was gonna start this a long time ago, but I did not. But the first thing I want to do is brush my hair out because if you have tangles, your hair is not gonna pull through this cap very well. So I'm gonna brush out all the freaking tangles. Look how black my hair is. I haven't dyed it in a while. Like my roots are coming in because I knew I wanted to go back lighter. Before you put the cap on your head, you have to make sure that your hair is equally distributed over your, underneath your cap. Otherwise, you are pulling these strings outside, you see it's divided equally, but if there's more hair on this side than on this side, it's not even. So you have to be careful that you comb everything very good, equally divided underneath that cap. Here we go. And it's not even. 
distributed. And you want to make sure like your cap is tight so that way like your dye doesn't mess up. I hate how this feels like over your ears. Oh, I'm already hot. I'm sweating. It's not tight enough. I can't see. Oh my freaking gosh. I'm getting aggravated as shit. <laughs> I'll be back. That was literally so difficult and for what? I forgot to take the shirt off. Okay, I changed. I look like an egg. I look like a literal egg. <laughs> so the way that you do this, if you've never done it before, is you take your hook and you put it in a hole and you like pull out here. It's really self-explanatory. I'm not gonna try to do it when I'm not in front of a mirror because obviously that would freaking be awful. And I'm not trying to ruin my hair today. And if you pull the string, don't press directly on your head, it hurts. You go diagonally so you don't press the pin straight on your head. Look at this. There's so much hair that's going to be blonde. Like literally, I can't even separate it all. You have so much hair, there's not enough strings. It doesn't look like that much really, but it is. I think I'm supposed to leave the bleach on for like an hour. We have our bowl. I have a measuring cup to measure the bleach and developer. I always have to read the directions even though I've used this so many times. I always forget. Don't leave 30 volumes for one hour on your head. If you want to leave it for one hour, use 20 volumes. That's slow bleaching, but you cannot leave it for one hour with 30 volumes. You are really killing your hair. I don't even know if I'll need this much bleach. Okay, I'm gonna use that much bleach, so that's like almost a cup. And then I'm gonna use the same amount of developer. Y'all, I'm so scared. I hope this don't hurt my hair. Mix her up. I really wonder what my hair would look like blonde if I got it like professionally done, you know? You just dyed it black and you are fantasizing of blonde hair. <sighs> if you want to change your color so frequently, buy wigs. If you are changing your hair so frequently, you are at one point killing your hair. It is. The bleach part is always the hard part for me because like, I don't know how to freaking apply bleach. Even though I have dyed my hair multiple times. Yeah, I don't know how to apply bleach that well. But I think I'm gonna separate it so that way I'm not working with it too much at once. I think I need to pin my other hair back. I'm nervous. Yeah, you have to be careful because if your colored strings drop on your long hair underneath the cap that is still on the outside, there will be stains on that hair too. So you have to pin it back and don't press your color on the cap. Oh, did you hear that was one of my ring on my head. Oh, I'm so, I don't want to say. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> that's stupid. Okay, so don't press the color on your roots through the tiny holes, otherwise you have spots. My hair is so dark. Please don't fry my hair off. Please don't fry my hair off. Please don't fry my hair off. I guess let's just go for it. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Look how little of hair there is outside the cap. It's so fragile, so thin. Right, now, come back now, mister. You had to take more strings to have a nice result. Why does it feel so soft? Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. But I think she's applying it good. I'm still getting bleach all over my hand. Oh my goodness, don't fry my hair, please. Don't use 30 volumes, use 20. It feels like this is like conditioner and I didn't put no conditioner in here. You said it was a while that you colored it black and you have a regrowth. So what will happen if your regrowth is outside the cap, like it's a few centimeters, this regrowth will lift very easy and the length not. We were going to have two different colors. Yeah, I have a feeling this is gonna be patchy AF. 
aren't seen in my t-shirt. Yes, it will be patchy because you take big sections, divide it. You see, there is no color between the strings. Oh, 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 I'm getting excited. Not excited, anxious. That's the word. Because <laughs> I just got bleach all over it. And I got bleach on my arms and it's freaking burning. I know bleach don't lather, but I'm kind of hoping it does today. Okay, the back looks good as far as I can see in the mirror. I'll put some more on this side. It is 6.50. Now we wait. Look at my shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just rinsed my hair out. I have not looked at it yet. Let's go ahead and look at it together. This is just like after the dye. I haven't toned it yet. Giving very much skunk vibes. Where is my hairbrush? I need to... Whoa! It lifted very good. It was black, but I don't know if it was box dye. It lifts very good. Maybe there was blonde under that black. That's a possibility. I wasn't going to tone it yet. I was going to eat first, but now that I've seen how brassy it is, I really want to change my shirt. I ended up leaving the bleach in for an hour. Definitely not as blonde as I want it to be yet. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm hurting how she's treating her hair. She's just combing straight through. You see her hair is really dry and fragile and you are brushing it very aggressively. Whew. It hurts deep in my soul it hurts but we're working with it so t14 wella i rinse this out so i'm just going to dump this in here and you use one part toner two parts developer so to measure this i just not with 20 volumes toner with 10 volumes now the toner is purple so i really need to do this in the bathroom in case it gets on stuff i'm really not gonna try to make a mess so it just drops on already really probably wouldn't suggest using your hands for this. Don't follow after me. It's just so much easier. <sighs> Y'all, I'm making such a mess. I'm using all of this toner. I didn't really want caramel. I wanted blonde. Blonde? It's lifted very good. It, I'm very surprised. But you cannot go blonde with that toner. What do you think toner is doing? Bleaching it further? No. It's to neutralize, slightly neutralize, taking away some pigments, not getting rid from orange to blonde. That's not possible. Not T18, not T14. It's not possible. Not. Y'all, yeah. my hair looks so bad. <laughs> it looks so bad. Okay, it don't look bad from like here. Like it kind of looks okay, like highlights, yeah, cool. But then, what the heck? That's because you put toner on your head with 20 volumes. You did not tone your hair, you colored your hair. And if you use 20 volumes, you lift. 20 volumes is lifting your hair, one or two tones. And your regrowth was natural. So you put a color, a blonde color, toning color it's the lightest version it will not go to blonde but if you mixing it with 20 volume it lifts so it makes your regrowth lighter if you used this toner with 10 volumes or lower you did not have that problem i can't if my hair looked like this and without these roots i would keep it but i cannot i cannot deal so we're gonna dye our hair again do shadow roots don't color it completely. Well, the color on the length is not so beautiful, but you can put a little bit dark blonde, light brown on your hair and you can do shadow roots. Not blonde. And I bought some box dye. I'm gonna dye it, but I'm not gonna dye it back black. I'm gonna dye it this medium golden chestnut brown. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Your highlights will have a different tone. It will be warm. This different brown colors chestnut brown you never know what kind of pigments are inside but i bet there are a lot of red pigments inside that brown so your streaks will be warm brown but watch out for your roots it will be very different your roots with the length so 
I'm curious. What's up, y'all? It is a couple days later. I just want to say that I had a mental breakdown yesterday about my hair. And I thought that I was going to be embarrassed and everybody would hate it. But actually, everybody liked it today. Which I definitely went over it with that box dye that I showed you guys. Y'all, it would have been fine if I didn't have those freaking bright, brassy roots. I don't really know how that happened. I think it's because the... I guess I put, like, bleach too close to the cap because it got on my roots no it was the toner it was the toner with 20 volumes and my roots were already like my natural color again so it dyed them like bright yellow but here's how my hair turned out i dyed it that medium chestnut brown color it looks more like red in person also you can kind of see like the highlights through the brown dye so I didn't dye it darker again so that way when I want to try to go to blonde again it won't be that big of a step I mean it is kind of dark but it won't be like huge black um step you know what I mean let me show you guys in the light this is like better lighting so it's like kind of reddish you see there is red inside these chestnut brown so, but I want to see the roots. How hot are the roots? Now my roots are still very much um, different color, but you can't really tell. And I think the only way that I can fix that is either go blonde, blonde, or go dark, dark. And right now I really don't want to do either because I'm so sick of dyeing my hair. But just do shadow roots and your problem is fixed.